Hey guys, Sasha from NetbookNews.com with another unboxing and it's the very first Ultrabook from Dell. That's the Dell XPS 13 that got launched or that was launched uh, during CES back in January in Las Vegas. And uh, finally, Dell Germany sent us one over here. I'm still in Germany before I'm going back to Taiwan on Monday. And uh, so I'm doing the unboxing of this little 13.3 inch over here, uh, which in my opinion was one of the most interesting ones uh, during um, the CES. Let's see, it comes with uh, two little boxes. I don't know, oh, this one here, what's that? Oh, that's a power cord. Okay, here we go. Now oh, that's a very nice box, super compact. And uh, here we go, fancy. That's looking good. Okay, that's the device itself. It's so all wrapped up. Let's see what else we got for us. Um, looks to me like a bunch of different manuals. Yep, that's exactly what it is. Quick start guide and license agreement and you name it. All the boring stuff that you won't read anyways. Um, that's pretty rare that you're getting an additional DVD with drivers and utilities. because no other manufacturers are doing this anymore. And a super small PSU. That's quite interesting. It's definitely a very, very small one. But that's about it. And therefore, we can take a look at the outer book itself. Okay, let's just get it over here. And get rid of all the unimportant stuff. And, um, okay. So it's a 13.3 inch device with a resolution of 1366 by 768. Uh, comes with Windows 7. This version um, sports the Intel Core i5 uh, 2467M. That's a 1.6, I think it was a 1.6 gigahertz device uh, CPU that can overclock in this turbo mode to 2.7. As far as I know, it has a 4 gigabyte of RAM and a 128 gigabyte SSD. And it's the one and only Ultrabook out there with a Corning Gorilla Glass display. Oh, let's say the Corning Gorilla Glass is on top of the display, which makes it uh, obviously quite glossy. Okay, let's get rid of this one here. And as you can see, it has a very nice chiclet keyboard, a huge trackpad with integrated mouse buttons. But what I would love is this keyboard, right? And it's really hard, almost impossible to bend it, even though that I'm putting a lot of pressure on top of it right now. But let's take a quick look around the device. So we have um, a connector for the PSU. There's a USB, I would guess it's a 2.0, a jack for your headset. There's nothing on this super thin front. And we have another USB 2.0, and this should be a display port, isn't it? A mini VGA port? I think so. And here's another little button, which turned out to be, you know what, this might be for switching or checking the battery. Yep, that's exactly what it is. Um, I already told you, 128 gigabytes. It comes with a 47 watt hour battery. It weighs about 1400 grams. And uh, it's, what's that here? I think uh, 18 millimeters, but obviously at the thinnest part of it. It looks really good. I love this kind of aluminum lid and it feels very solid, good build quality. For example, if we compare this, uh, uh, we have a couple of other devices here. Um, here's the Samsung Series 5 Ultrabook, one of my favorite ones. And um, it also offers you really decent build quality. So. Uh, over here you can see when it comes to the dimensions of this uh, of these ultra books you can see that the Samsung is a little bit thicker but it also offers you way more IO ports and even an HDMI out port which I'm kind of missing over here uh, with the Dell but therefore it also comes with a 4-in-1 card reader and I think it's also a little bit lighter um, Let's check out the different keyboards. Here we go. That's almost the same. I think the keys on the Samsung are slightly bigger. And what I love about the Samsung is that you have uh, a separate, a separated mouse buttons. All right, and these are single 
when you only have this uh, Mac style integrated into the trackpad mouse button thingy and uh, I'm not a big friend of this. Um, let's switch it on. There we go and let's do at least one little boot up test. This is obviously the German version of it. As you can tell it comes with Windows 7. I don't know, is it home premium? It is home premium. So I would guess that that was like 20, 25 seconds. And as we all know, Intel um, has uh, something called, or the Intel Ultrabox has probably something called um, the Instant On. So as soon as you're closing the lid, it goes into the standby, and as soon as you're opening it again, there should be the Instant On. Which is obviously not happening here. Yeah, good job, instant on. Maybe I need to push the power button again. Okay, maybe that that's why. Anyways, uh, let's check this out. Let's just double check it with the Samsung. Here it's in standby. Let's open it again. It seems like it's not my day for instant on checks. Obviously not. So, well, actually, it just went into the standby right now. <laughs> and here we go. So forget about these instant on uh, features. Uh, it's been working all of our hands on during CES and doing mobile work congress and see it. I don't know why it's not working out right now. But anyways, first impression of this um, Dell XPS 13 Ultrabook. I love the build quality of it. It's it's very compact. It's it's small. It is a Corning Gorilla Glass. Even though that I would prefer uh, a non-glossy matte screen, like over here on the Series Five. It has a fantastic uh, keyboard. I really love this build quality. Huge trackpad. Not a big fan of the integrated uh, mouse button. And in terms of specification. It's, you know, you can compare it to all the other uh, Ultrabooks that are available on the market right now that are sporting uh, the Sandy Bridge platform. This comes with the Core i5 and the Core i7 and it starts roughly at around, I think it's like 1150 euros or dollars. So it's definitely a nice Ultrabook to take a look at. That's the new Dell XPS 13. I'm Sasha for NetbookNews.com. Thanks for watching.